Okay, hey everybody, 10 Tampa Bay Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins here. Uh, for, what day is it? Friday afternoon a weather update on potential tropical cyclone 4. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to all my social media pages, my YouTube page as well, because I'll be doing updates here. If you don't see us on air, you're going to find them right here. Bobby Deskins weather is most of my stuff. All right, so let's get started with where we are right now. You can see the satellite picture. It almost looks to me like we have the low is sitting somewhere in here. I would argue it's almost somewhere off of here. This is the southern coast of Cuba right here. So it's, it's almost getting a little bit further to the south. We'll have to see. That's important because if the center is down here and not up here, this track to the northwest and then a turn is here, or this track up here and then a turn is here, that's a quicker turn to the north if the center is up here. And that would be a quicker transition over into Florida, which would actually be a good thing because then we'd have less in the amount of, uh, of time for it to develop. So let me switch up. I want to show you here the latest track from the Hurricane Center. This is, uh, well, we're going to get another one at 5 o'clock, but this just goes to show you what the first one was. So it says 30 mile per hour winds now, takes it out to about 35 mile per hour winds by tomorrow morning. That's simply because it's now moving off of land. Right? It's going to be out here over the Florida Straits. It is also, by the way, oh, that's weird it was doing that. It is also, by the way, uh, becoming a, a depression tomorrow morning. That's what that symbol means, right? Tropical depression. It's potential tropical cyclone four. Now, during the day on Saturday, it'll move past Key West and it will become Tropical Storm Debbie. This is by 8 p.m. Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. Then, Sunday morning, 8 a.m., 50 mile per hour winds just to the west southwest of Manatee County, due west of Sarasota, right? The center could be anywhere in here, from this side all the way to over there. I think it might jog a little to the right, which would mean landfall maybe in Sarasota County. Um, that would be good because if it can stay out over water and go up past Pinellas, up here to almost Citrus County, the Big Bend area, you see that 65 mile per hour? That's a stronger tropical storm because the center stays out over land. I mean, over water, excuse me. So we, we actually want it to come in a little bit further to the south because that would limit how strong it can get. From there, it moves to the north and the northeast. And you can see it actually, after coming off the land, will re-strengthen and will be cranking up as it moves out past the Carolinas. So my friends there in eastern North Carolina, pretty decent tropical storm for you late Tuesday night is what it looks like now, although the timing may change. Watches and warnings. The Keys, all the way up, have a tropical storm watch. The blue area... That's basically Marco Island and Naples area. That's under a tropical storm warning. Then you get from Naples northward, for, including Fort Myers, all the way up through the Hernando County, Pasco County border. That is a tropical storm watch. It includes Polk County, Hardy, DeSoto County. The yellow means we could see tropical storm force winds of 40 miles per hour or higher in this area. The blue means we expect it. Okay, that's, that's what that means. And that's the reason why we got a potential tropical cyclone. They, they, they needed to name something so that they could get the watches and warnings. And there's, it's not organized enough to name it a, a depression or a storm, so they give it this BTC designation. Now, here are the latest forecast models. See that turn? You see all of this right in here, all of that turn? Out here would be a stronger system. If you limit, here's Cuba down here, if you can limit the time that it's over water and makes land, you're going to limit the... the the amount of time that it has to um, strengthen. And so that's why I think currently, let me see if I can clear this out, currently the Hurricane Center's forecast is somewhere out here. Let me try this again. It's not going to draw it. It's just to the left of that line that's going through Tampa right now. Okay. So now let's look at our local model. Very broad area of low pressure. And I got to say, this is almost suggesting that that center is running along the southern part of Cuba. But it doesn't really develop it much. This is, look at the clock up here, tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. This is a little bit slower than everything else. Tomorrow at 5 p.m., it's got it west of Key West and closing a low off. That's what that circle is, getting a little bit more organized. Notice we already had outer rain bands during the afternoon on Saturday. Sunday morning, 1 a.m., late Saturday night. There's the center west of Marco Island, coming north, pretty close to the coast. Look at that. The latest run has landfall somewhere in Manatee, Sarasota County, 8, 9, 10 in the morning on Sunday morning. Not terrible, but that would help us 
with shortening this distance over the warm water that gives it the energy to get stronger, right? And then here we go through the day on Sunday. This is 3 p.m., very heavy rainfall to the right of the center. If the center ends up out here, we're going to have heavier rainfall along the coast. If it does come in towards Sarasota County, you're going to have heavier rainfall out here. There's going to be rain for almost all of Florida, and especially the peninsula, regardless. Uh, but where it's focused highest will go just to the right of that center. 9 p.m. Sunday, there's the center west of Daytona. We have to watch these. We will be getting less wind. We will be getting less rain. But these will train over the same area. And, guys, I've seen these cause more flooding than the storm itself going by. So that's something that we want to watch for Manatee, Sarasota, Southern Hillsborough County. And then there it is. It's moving on up the coast. In fact, here, I'll go ahead and run this out for you. Storm surge. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right now we're thinking one to three foot of surge. If the storm comes in somewhere in Sarasota, it'll blow water out of the bay, Tampa Bay. If it comes in further north, it'll blow more water in. The Hurricane Center has it coming in up here, so you get a little bit more surge up here in Hernando and Citrus County. But overall, we're still looking at one to three foot of surge. Timing of the tropical storm force winds, and this is what's called the most likely arrival time, right? That's basically 8 a.m. Sunday morning. So you want all your preps done by Saturday afternoon, tomorrow afternoon by sunset, 7, 8 o'clock or so. Yeah, I mean, you've got overnight, but we're going to have some rain in the area overnight, and the winds will be gradually picking up. This indicates 40-mile-per-hour wind arrival time, and the colors indicate the highest probability of seeing that wind. Notice how it's mostly offshore. The, 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 the land, you know, the friction brings it down. So the highest chance for the highest winds will be right there along the immediate coast. The best chance for tropical storm force winds will be offshore, 50% chance, right? All right, so don't worry about those numbers. Let's talk about what we've got, and I'll let you go. Main impacts now, Saturday night and Sunday into Sunday evening. So we have a weather impact alert for both Saturday and Sunday. Rain. Four to eight inches, especially to the east of wherever that center goes, okay? Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about for that. Now, wind impacts, 55 to 65 mile per hour winds. Now, look, that's the storm itself. I think we'll generally be in the 40s and 50s along the immediate coast, but this could change. And now, look, that's a tropical storm. But talk to anybody that's lived in hurricane country for any period of time, and they will tell you, I oh, remember that one tropical storm that was worse than a hurricane. So don't think because it's just a tropical storm we don't have to worry too much. I'm not too worried, but we do need to take it seriously. Let's just put it that way, right? Respect it. It's not going to be terrible, but put it this way. 58 mile per hour winds is when we get a severe thunderstorm warning. So we get those once or twice a week here in the summertime. All right, forecast to be Tropical Storm Debbie. That should happen during the day on Saturday. And it's still uncertainty on the track and the strength, so please keep checking back. Again, I want to thank everybody for uh, checking in with me throughout the time. It's been great hearing all your comments. Uh, we got this. We're fine, but it is something to pay attention to. Of course, don't forget all of our socials. We'll be on air tonight at 5 o'clock at 10 Tampa Bay and, of course, at 11, and then we're on air uh, our regular times through the day on Saturday. Saturday night, especially after midnight, the weather starts going downhill. Worst will be Sunday morning early through about 1 to 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon, and then things will start to get better. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe because I will keep updating these videos.